The discussion around politics and the election looks much different than it did years ago. Access to the internet and social media has revolutionized the conversation, allowing access to information like never before. Now voters can be an active part of the political discussion. But especially with the rise of social media's political discourse, the line between opinion and fact has been blurred. For young voters looking to make decisions about their political stance for the upcoming election, it can be extremely difficult to navigate the twisted strings of misinformation and fact. It's really begun to be a real target on social media, especially focusing on young voters as opposed to the older generations. And knowing how easily influenced they are by things on social media. It's very easy to fall into the trend where I know someone online, hey, I've been watching this person for a few years. I'm not going to fact check what they say. I don't really care. I believe them. On many platforms, brightly colored infographics, along with your favorite influencers' political posts, can rack up millions of likes, with thousands of reposts on stories by teens looking to share their political opinions. But blind belief in these posts' credibility can lead to viral sharing of false or exaggerated information. I feel like we're having people voting as if it's not their vote, voting as if it's someone else's vote. Because we can see people being like, hey, I like this influencer, I like this influencer, I'm not going to check what they're saying. I'm not going to check if what they're saying is factual. I'm just going to believe them straight off the bat. I think that a lot of teens really do focus on they see something, they like it, and if they want it to be shared everywhere, they'll repost it, comment, do all things like that without really any regard to who it was or where it was from. Young voters putting trust into the amount of popularity of the post and not looking into the credibility of the information are not fully to blame for the problem. Social media platforms have come under fire for not taking the precautions necessary to do their part in controlling the spread of misinformation. Algorithms of the platforms favor posts with the most engagement, not the most credibility. You have a lot of the social media companies making algorithms so that people only see the things that they like. So it creates a lot of struggle with people only seeing one side of the spectrum as opposed to the whole political spectrum. And a lot of them don't know what are good places to fact check where they'll see both the things that they like and the things that they don't. It's very likely that the outcome of our past election was influenced by social media. And with many more elections happening in the near future, it's imminent to be a critical thinker when it comes to political information on social media platforms and online. Sources such as NPR News, the Associated Press, and Reuters offer neutral political news or balanced information. Social media can be a tool for learning about political issues and candidates for an election, but it's vital to remember that it's just a stepping stone for further research and isn't the finish line. For Roar TV, I'm Kaylin Herbett.